Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the vlog. Well, I'm going to say good afternoon, almost good evening. It's a very late start to the vlog, it's just after half four. Welcome back to the Moore household. Today is now Tuesday. You haven't saw the last vlog yesterday guys, where I announced that I was going to be on the BBC, which was Radio Ulster, which was this morning, and I did get on the Radio Ulster, I'll talk about that in a few seconds. Um, you haven't saw that last vlog, the link's in the description below. But sorry we're starting off the vlog a little bit late today. It's been one of those busy, busy, busy days again. I just haven't stopped today. And I'm only getting down and sit down now and actually talk to you. Um, hope you're all keeping safe and well out there, guys. Um, it's been a funny old day. It started off really early this morning where I had to get up a little bit earlier than normal to go on the uh, BBC Radio Ulster to the Good Morning Ulster breakfast show. Um, and then I had a lot more on, on right throughout the day after that. And then I had to go out with Lewis earlier on. And then I had to come home and then I'm in the middle of cleaning the house and I've had a, a, a painting disaster as well today. Guys, you saw us out at home base yesterday getting some tile paint for the kitchen. The paint is, is good paint and I bought some proper, um, what do you call them, trade brushes. You probably saw them, did we show them in the vlog list, didn't we? The other week. But the paint's not, the, the tiles that were put into this, this house whenever we got this, the, into that kitchen from whenever we got this house are not great tiles. And honestly, the tiles are crap. So I attempted to do it this morning, and part of it last night, and it didn't turn out as well as planned. So I had to take one of the tins back to get a refund. And I've got a couple of guys coming out over the next few days to give me a coat for new tile. I was originally going to tile the kitchen, but I thought, you know, I'll just maybe do some tile paint because I've seen some good ideas for doing it. And it didn't turn out too well. So I'll show you that there before the end of today. It hasn't turned out too well, but if a guy coming out tomorrow to have a look at it anyway. Anyway, yes, I was on the BBC this morning. A little bit disappointed, guys. A lot of you have been contacting me today saying I was a little bit disappointed to hear how short of a period it was on. Now, I was brought on last night and I was contacted by BBC to come on. In case you wonder what that noise in the background is, Lewis and I are sitting here opening more Premier League packets. Oh, and we finally got the badge that we were looking for, by the way. That's a Premier League sticker album. We got the Liverpool badge. He's over there opening more packets. He's just after his dinner there. Uh, it's National Pizza Day today, so it is. So I'll show them in a minute. National Pizza Day today, so he had some pizza and garlic bread for his dinner there. We had dinner early tonight. Um, but anyway, yes, what was the saying there? Oh, uh, yeah, the um, BBC brought us on this morning. There was myself and a headmaster brought in from a school in Belfast, and they said that we would be able to talk for a good bit. God, I don't really want to speak for like, what, a minute, if that? Because there was a guy come on after me, and he kept going on and on and on and on, and then we just said I'm getting cut off. So, I do have it in the background here, I want to play it to you now, because um, I haven't got a chance to actually rip it off the BBC website to play it properly, but I am on. Well, I was on the BBC this morning talking about children going back to school. There were, uh, you hear all these stories at the minute about kids, you know, two hours extended at school, or maybe the summer holidays being cut short. At the end of the day, my kids at the minute personally are doing homeschooling. And they're working very hard at it. When I, when I see and hear a lot of kids that are here not actually bothering their backsides to do their homeschooling properly or some are just sitting in the Google Classroom and they're buggering off out for the day. My two kids are actually sitting there period by period like the art school and I make sure they are doing their work every single day. You know, they're doing all their classes and everything's fine because, I mean, the school even contacts us regularly to, to let us know how the kids are getting on and they all are all getting on fine. They're all up to date with their work and stuff like that. I'm um, seeing last week Brooke's music teacher phone because she was struggling with one of their uh, part of her music uh, work and her teacher actually took upon her time to give me a call to talk to me and Brooke to help her get through that. So my kids are well ahead of themselves and they're doing really, really well at the minute. So I can't really say no more about that. Um, I've seen a lot of parents on Facebook and on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, not Twitter anymore because I'm not on Twitter anymore. People even contacting me and saying to me, you know, God, your kids are so good sitting there doing your work in the morning. That's the thing, guys. I have it and I have it sort of in my kid's mind where once you get your schoolwork done, the rest of the day's your own. So if you want to play your PlayStation or you want to talk to your friends on FaceTime or you, whenever this is all over, you want to go out with your friends, stuff like that, get your homework done and get your schoolwork done first and the rest of the day's your own. And the ball we've been like that since they were primary school. So quite lucky that way, guys. There's never any bother them at all. There's never any, oh, I can't be bored doing it today or things like that. My phone going there, sorry. <laughs> I'll put it on side when I'm talking to you. Um. So yeah, it's... Uh, it was an, I'm a little bit disappointed from being on the BBC this morning for a short period of time. So it was. Um, I don't have to really speak a bit much about it because, you know, it's affecting the kids' mental health as well. Especially Brooke, because Brooke's feeling a bit down some days where she's feeling a bit like crap. 
where she wants to see her friends, she wants to see her teachers and stuff like that. And that's why Brizzy Gee brought up this morning on the show. So I'm going to play this wee clip here to you and bring the camera over to you while I'm talking to you. This was this morning on uh, Radio Ulster. There's been numerous reports. I'll turn this down. Either here while I'm talking to you. The potential of, of lost mm -hmm. learning depending on which, which here we go. age. I'll show you this now, guys. Here we go. Can I ask you, Matthew, what your view would be on this? Would you support any of, of, of these measures? Do we not owe it to our children to, to give them the maximum that we can? Absolutely. I mean, with my children, it's just your quick caller said there, um, you know, they are doing a lot of remote learning. I mean, and it's not just that as well. I mean, they're, they're losing, like, you know, socialising with other children. They're, even their mental health is being affected as well. I mean, my daughter, 15, is struggling at the moment. Now, she is obviously working hard from home, but she's struggling, you know, to sort of, like, see other people and socialise and stuff like that. They're affecting her in a lot of different ways, you know. And also my son as well, you know, it's just it's a very, very hard time. And, to tell the children, okay, you're going back to school, but to stay at school longer, it's going to be like, you know, okay, what's going on here? You know, I don't mind maybe an extra hour of school afterwards, but to put them in the open pot maybe two hours after school and then longer times as well at school as well, it's, it's messing with the children's minds because they're, they're are all over the place at the moment, especially with not being at school. Yeah, I mean, Robbie Butler, there's no real... This is the guy who comes on, talks over me for like, I don't know, he just hogs all the time, this guy, and he goes on about theories and... Oh, he was doing my head in this morning, so he was. But yeah, that was me on BBC Radio also this morning, guys. Um, they apologised to me as well whenever before I got off the call with them. They were saying like, you know, sorry, Matthew, we didn't get a chance to talk longer. No, we'll bring you back on again. We're gonna ha have more points. As you heard, I only got to speak for a little bit, so not good, not good at all. Anyway, I'm gonna go. You open all your packets. No. Any more of you left? Let's have a look. This is what are you drinking about Jan Carton of apple juice? Not so many from the first. Or are you drinking that and drinking fizzy juice like? But no. How many have you got today? My good God. <laughs> he loves his stickers. So he does. And he also got this today. Can I shoot it? Yeah, of course you can. I'll get it off the table here for you. Oh, there's star. Uh, he got a new thing for his PS5 today. I'm going to bring it over here. <laughs> My God, I didn't see you I've been here for you. Just now I'm here for Anyway, this one, I'll show them. Well, my thing. I don't know, I don't really does things. He reminds me of my granda. So he does. My mum's dad, when I read like fixing things, he used to go, the tongue and all sticking out and all. There we are. He got himself a new charger today for his PlayStation controllers. Half price in Argos. £12. It's pretty cool, actually. Look, let me see. It charges two things. There you go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go here. Are you down to do these stickers? Oh. Don't open them anymore. I'm opening the rest of them. I open one of them. Ugh, what do you like? Wait here to get some cleaning done, clean up the, the dinner dishes and get some more bits and pieces. I'll show you them tiles that are on. What a disaster. What a disaster. Anyway, let's continue on this vlog guys. See you shortly. Let's get this, uh, I was going to say Monday, Tuesday's vlog start. Really? You're upset? You've literally took over this whole album, you know that? They got more stickers today guys. So that I, Now here's the thing that really makes me laugh the most. Now, you know you always get the like, doubles when you do a sort of sticker collection? Um, should we show them? I don't even think you want to show them. I don't think I really want to show them, do you? It's like, kind of like, crazy. But guys, here's Lewis's doubles. Like, they are all just doubles. In order. Yeah, oh, yeah party in order. For an R and here's the thing. Wearing. Look at this. We have one, two, <laughs> three <laughs> Premier League trophies. <laughs> like, what the hell is that all about? You know what I mean? Is my phone going? Oh dear. What's that all about? Like, like really? I've got the, the Premier League ball. I've only got one of them, so this is quite good. Like, but three trophies. I may keep one of them for myself. <laughs> At this point, it's just a sport. It's not even just fun anymore. It's a sport? Yep, I need a putting stickers in the album a sport? You try sorting them and put them all I in. used to do it when I was a kid. Do you do this? No. You watched the home video of my 12th birthday. Do you do this? Or, you just or was it with 13? 12? Did you sit for near an hour and a half and organise them from number one to I used to. I used to do it. What, how many is there? From number one to 642, but there's only 300 of them. There's only, th only 300 doubles, are you mad? I counted them last time. I'm, I'm going to go online then. I know there's one of our viewers who watches us who... Is going to send us a few of her doubles and we're going to send her a few in return because we're going to exchange. She can take them all. 
Jesus, we got so <laughs> We're going to go on to that. There's, I think there's a website you can go on to and you can do like a trade. It's not even funny. See, I started these, right? There was about 400 to stick in. So stuck them in. There wasn't that many doubles left. Now every time we do it, there's at least half of what this is in doubles. I used to love collecting them when I went to school as well. We used to like exchange them in school and stuff. See, we can't do that. You can't do it at the moment because of this whole pandemic nonsense. If we could, I could bring them into school. I'm just going to not be weird. But okay. Just Whatever floats your boat there. I'm just gonna get these organized. Maybe well, we'll leave you to it anyway because it looks like you're having lots of fun. Um, lots and lots of fun. Well, guys, I just thought I'd show you this kitchen before I head upstairs to the kids. Um, hasn't turned out well as expected. Check this out. What an absolute disaster. It started off well over here, and as I got along here, it got really bad. And the ring started to get all like bobbly and. It was just an absolute disaster. So it was. So I am going to have a guy come out here in the next day or two to have a look and give me a price. When, a, a, my original plan, guys, was to take all these away anyway and put in like brick type tiles. I put I installed lights underneath there recently, but it's just a disaster. So I'm going to get uh, this guy to come out. I think he's, this, tomorrow he's coming out. Tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. Um, to take a look, it's sort of give me a price and stuff like that. He said it wouldn't be that much because I sent him a couple of photographs and stuff. And there's not much title work really to do here, to be quite honest. It wouldn't take that long to do. So, I want to get those done. So, that, that'll be the plan to have the kitchen finished once and for all. But anyway, I'm going to head upstairs here now to the guys and see what they're up to. Oh, turn it outside later. Um, see what they're up to because um, Lewis said he wants to have a game of football tonight on his PlayStation. <laughs> He's a nightmare, so I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna go up here and see what he's up to. So I'll see how long going to see what he's up to. Yes. What? Coming up now. What? Come up to see you. Are you? Yeah. Let's go and see what he's up to. Why do you have a blanket wrapped around you? Huh? Close. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you have company anyway. Exactly. Who's he talking to? My friend is friend. Alright. Which friend? Cruise. Oh, hello Cruise. Hello. Where's the new charger? I said I'm talking to you. Oh, it's over here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. My phone's ringing. It's not weird. Let's check on the sound. Love phones. Text message? Yeah. yeah what do you got? The news company. Why are you bored? No, we just... It you must be really me. bored if you're sitting in here. No, no, no. Lewis keeps going to me. He goes... Brick, brick. He goes, you gotta come in. And all I do is sit here and watch him do stuff on, on his place. You must be bored. It's not even, we're just best friends, aren't we? Yep. Same lockdown, mess, and then as soon as lockdown's over, you don't want to know each other, don't pull each other's heart out. Exactly. You come here. Mm -hmm. See, Lewis adopted my chair. You I said you wanted to borrow it for a while. I stole it. I, I borrowed <laughs> it. Borrow I borrowed it. I didn't adopt uh, it. I don't have the money to You borrowed it and, it and then he stole it. I didn't steal it. I am borrowing it. <laughs> when do you want the back? I'm borrowing it. Look, he's even it. stole my sign bar too. Look. You give that to me. My old that sign bar. That was a donation from the charity shop. You're full of nonsense. <laughs> Donate to Lewis's charity. So why is your TV so far back? Because I can't really see it from over here. Okay. Of those no ways in the head. I want to play Minecraft so badly, but I don't have it. What? I want to play Minecraft. I don't have I don't have money to buy it. He had a free trial the other day, it was so funny. He, he made his world and then whenever the trial stopped he couldn't do anything and he was locked inside his house. No comment. It was so funny. Then we'll leave his tip. I'm gonna my room here. Bye. I, get, I give up with him too. I really do. I'm gonna come to my room here, get these this washing put away. Guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of today. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna go here and put my washing away in my wardrobe here and uh I haven't edited it yesterday's video, I have to edit that now, so I have to get that up and then get today's one up as well. So if you enjoyed this video today guys, where I was on the BBC Radio Watch this morning for a brief period of time, and more, drop a like on this video, also hit subscribe below guys, and until the next one, hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, it's going to be a busy day tomorrow, got a guy coming out tomorrow, and I'm busy elsewhere as well, so it's just going to be one hell of a day, so I'll try my best to get a vlog done guys. Um, till the next one, I'll see you all soon. Hopefully, just let them two get out there because we've been more hours over. We'll have to go to bed for school in the morning, so more school work. The joys. Till the next one, guys. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.